Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how do you tell if your thermostat is actually working and calling for heat at the control board of your furnace. So in this case, we have a gas furnace, we have a control board. You see that the status code, that red little uh, light right there, it's not flashing. We have the door switch shut with a magnet right now, so if you see that turns the power off. But when we close this door switch, we then have power at the control board. But if you want to see if you have your thermostat actually working properly when it says it is, then we need to actually take our readings at the control board of the, of the furnace. So we're going to turn our power back on. This is our digital multimeter, and we have it set on AC voltage. And we first want to tell if we have power even coming off the control board in order to make it to the thermostat. So we're going to take our 24-volt reading between R and C. And you see we're reading 28.7 volts. So anything between 24 and 29 volts is good. So then we want to see if our power is making it to the thermostat, through the thermostat, on a call for heat, and back to the control board, signaling the control board to turn the sequence of operation for heat on. And in this case, you see that it is not. We're reading 0 0.018 volts. If our thermostat was calling for heat, we'd be reading that same voltage of around 27, 28 volts over between W and C. Now I'm going to turn this power off to the thermostat. I'm going to put a jumper in and I'm going to show you what the voltage should be. Now I'm getting ready to turn this furnace on. When I turn this switch on, now that we have R to W jumped, what's going to happen most likely is the blower motor back here is going to go ahead and turn on. And that's because it thinks that the, the furnace was turned off last time during the uh, sequence for heating and the heat exchanger back here might be hot. Uh, so it wants to cool that down before it's going to start the sequence of operation for heat. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and then we'll go ahead and see if that happens. All right, so there it goes. The blower motor is going to go ahead and cool down the heat exchanger. I'm going to fast forward through this until when the blower motor shuts off. It should be right around 60 to 90 seconds or so that the blower motor is going to be cooling the heat exchanger. And then we'll go ahead and see this inducer motor turn on. So now the blower motor is turned off, the inducer motor is running. That means there is a call for heat because this is the first thing that turns on in the sequence of operation for heat. So we're on voltage. Let's just go ahead and check between W and common. And you see that we read 28 volts. So that means that, that basically we've jumped out our, our heat. So we know that we have a problem if we have our thermostat set on heat and the temperature is high. Just like this, on this thermostat right here, we see that we have our heat on, 74 degrees is what we have it set at, and at 67 in the room, our heat should be turning on. So you just first want to check the control board, make sure you have 24 volts even being sent to the thermostat, but we can also check inside the thermostat to see if we have 24 volts if there is a common wire used. So we just took that face off, and if you wanted to check for 24 volts, at the thermostat face, if you did have a common wire attached, then you would check from 24 volts between R and C. So that's that screw and that screw. That would help determine if you're even getting the 24 volts to the thermostat. If you are getting 24 volts to the thermostat between R and C, what you could do is use mag jumpers like this to go between R and your W. And that would basically bypass your thermostat in order to get the voltage back to the control board. Now you could do it like this, or you could actually, with the power off, take the R wire out and the W wire out and go ahead and wire nut them with a small wire nut such as this. And then you go back to your control board and measure to see if you have 24 volts between W and C when you don't have these jumpers in place. If you have these two jumped or wire nutted and you are not getting 24 volts back to here, then you know your problem's likely not your thermostat, but actually your thermostat wire. If while you have your R and W jumped, you do get 24 volts at your, at your control board, then you know your thermostat is the problem. And if you're looking for the mag jumpers or the multimeter used in this video, I have them both linked in the description below, along with other thermostat troubleshooting videos. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.